Hey you guys, welcome to your February 2023 prediction reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for uh, any of our placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Scorpio for February 2023. What do we have here for Scorpio for February 2023 for Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio for February 2023 for Scorpio here. Tell me about Scorpio for February 2023. Three of Swords here and the Empress. Seems like Scorpio, you've experienced or that you will experience a lot of growth and expansion from all the pain and the hurt that you've been through here. Okay, so I feel like you're you're like in this Empress-like energy. You're in this energy of attracting not chasing you know i just feel like you know there's a lot of growth and expansion happening in your life here some of you guys are really you know in this like really creative period period in your life right now okay so really maturing here yeah really maturing here i feel the empress libra taurus energy here we have the queen of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy here and the ace of pentacles okay with the Ace of Cups here and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're really protected here, Scorpio. There are new beginnings happening here for you. And I just feel like everything is working together for good. Yeah, things are coming together here for you in a big, big, big way, I feel. You know, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, you know, there could be a new business that's starting here for you. You guys are, could be moving, okay? And, you know, I just feel like there is a lot of emotional fulfillment, possible emotional fulfillment and prosperity for yourself here at this time, okay? Uh, tell me about the Three of Swords here. Wow, Devil uh, and the Three of Swords. You know, maybe some of you guys overcame, like, um, sort of like a, a, a you know a, a medical procedure or that you guys are overcoming like a, a you know a medical situation here uh that you know was life threatening and i feel like you guys are coming out of that with the three of swords and the devil card here okay so capricorn energy here it, you know if it, if that's not the case it could be that you guys are just overcoming you know darkness that you're dealing with here in the past the devil here capricorn energy the empress with a ton of swords yeah um you know someone so you guys could have had some sort of like life-threatening injury here but like i said i feel like you guys are getting out of that okay it could be a situation that you know this might not be you it could be a friend or a family member that has gone through a, a you know a, a, a serious um physical injury here a life-threatening injury or a life-threatening health condition here where someone here is coming out of it or will come out of it okay queen of wands here uh we have the magician gemini virgo the ace of pentacles here and the five of pentacles what we have here scorpio is that you're master manifesting you're creating the life that you want for yourself because i feel like if you're if you have experienced this or that you will experience this or that you're going through this right now you're realizing that life is too short Okay, and you're realizing that you're you want to take advantage of every single opportunity that you can to enjoy life here. Okay, so the magician here, Gemini Virgo, and the Five of Pentacles. This is so interesting because you know this situation that you've been through. You're realizing anything else that you've been through or anything that you're going through with anybody here, you feel like it's just very tri trivial. Okay, so I feel like. 
you know, whatever fears, insecurities, anxiety that you dealt with in the past, I feel like a lot of that is subsiding here, okay? Obviously, there is going to be, you know, physical trauma, if that's that's the case, if that's what you're going through or will go through here. But, you know, I, I feel like a lot of the other stuff that you've been through in life, I do feel like it's going to subside or that it's going to become lighter here. Ace of Cups here and the Eight of Cups, Temperance here and the Knight of Cups here. There could be new love that's coming in towards you. Here's the thing. Um, I, I do feel like this person is not really emotionally ready to invest here or that you're really not emotionally ready to invest in this person because there's a, a major focus on yourself here, okay? So the Knight of Cups here and the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, one of the things that I'm getting is that, you know, I just feel like, you know, the cups that you have right now, you're using that cup, those cups to fill up your cups right now with this Temperance card. Yeah, I mean, this person has a cauldron here. Yeah, so whatever healing energy that this temperance, temperance energy is putting into this cauldron, I feel like you're taking it and you're trying to heal yourself here. Okay? Um, what else do we have here for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio for February 2023? What do they need to look out for and work on here for February 2023 for Scorpio? All right, so Six of Swords and the Four of Wands here, the King of Wands here, and the Five of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles here, and Justice. This is so interesting because I feel like it could, you know, this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Cups could be someone from the past that's coming back here, okay? Someone here that's trying to cause drama in your life here because with the Six of Swords here, things are balanced. Four of Wands here, things are stable, so, but someone here is definitely coming in to sort of like shake things up a little bit here. Or this person is, this person's coming back really angry, okay? So we have the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands here. I mean, it could be a situation that this person has hurt you in the past, okay? This person cannot stand losing control of you, uh, but, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, you're gaining control for yourself, and I feel like this person's losing their shits over this, okay? This is so interesting. This might resonate with one of you guys. Okay, it's kind of specific, but whoever this is, I feel like this individual is the one that put that gave you or put you in the hospital where there were, were life threatening uh, injuries here. Okay, that might have that, that might be for one, one person here that was coming in. Okay, Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. We have the Four of Pentacles here and Justice. Justice will be served here. Yeah, justice will be served here. So I feel like you have nothing to worry about. You know, I just feel like you're kind of like focusing on yourself here and you're just kind of letting the powers to be sort of like handle this, okay? Because I do feel like there is a situation here that someone here is facing their karma. Okay, Libra energy here with the justice card. Uh, you know, so this insecurity that you went through here or that this loneliness that you went through here, I feel like that you are overcoming it. Like there is kind of like a second chance here for you. Okay, so I feel like you're getting out of this situation here with this king here. Six of Swords, Two of Wands, Four of Wands here, and the World. So, you know, I feel like you're rising from the Phoenix, like, like a Phoenix here. I do feel like, you know, there is an energy of you becoming unstuck here and just just basically closing out a cycle you're making a big you're making a big decision that you know you're not going back on and it's going to completely change your life it already has okay king of wands here and the three of wands five of wands here and the knight of swords someone here is definitely coming into fight definitely coming into argue here okay this is so interesting this is a very controlling and manipulative person that in the past they might have gotten you to chase them but now they're chasing you Maybe like a very hot and cold and abusive energy here. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Four of Pentacles here and the Sun, Justice, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not worried at all. You know that Justice is gonna, you, you know that justice is gonna be served here. You're just kind of focused on your happiness here, uh, Scorpio. Okay, the Sun, Leo, Energy, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So, um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.